Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at the Circle Water Bottle, highly requested, pretty popular on social media, but let's see if it actually works in today's video. Before I get started, let's take a look at the unboxing and see how that went. Here we go, let's crack it open. This is my chill sleeve, which I paid eight bucks for. Here's a flavor, black cherry, another flavor. Another flavor. Let me see, here's the bottle itself. This is uh, 15 bucks. I bought a second lid for five bucks in case I want to use it on a, another bottle. They say it's compatible with other bottles, and we'll find out. Another flavor, more flavors. This was about 50 bucks, but they gave me a 10% discount because the, the more you buy, the more of a discount you get. So it was about 43 bucks for all this. These are what they call sips, and they have different categories of sips, and I have, I believe, one from each. This is the peach tea. This is one of their tea sips. The tea sips are all natural teas. This is the black cherry. This is what they call a go sip. And these are caffeine enhanced, no sugar drinks. The mixed berry is the fit sip that I purchased. Fit sips include electrolytes. This is the classic iced coffee, which is one of their brew sips. Brew sips are just iced coffee drinks. Here's a fruit punch. This is what they call a life sip. Life sips are made with all natural flavors and B vitamins. And finally, I have the pineapple. This is an unsweetened pure sip. Pure sips are all natural flavors with no added sweeteners. Let's do the peach tea first. All of their sips, I believe, have no sugar and no calories. I'm gonna rinse the bottle out before I actually use it, but I believe you just fill the bottle with water, put on the cap, Insert your cartridge. There's a dial here that you can go from more flavor to more water. And I think you can go straight water all the way to the highest flavor. I believe it's nine settings. The X here, I believe means it's just water. So let me see if I turn it. So yes, you can go from one all the way to nine, more or less flavor all the way to, to nothing, which is just water. So let me, uh, let me clean this bottle out and go for my massive taste test. Not only am I going to be testing all the flavors, but also the strengths as well. And I'm going to see if the cap works with other bottles like they say. So let's get started right now. All right, I did put the chiller sleeve on there. It was a bit difficult to get on. It kind of stretches over it. Not too hard, but a little bit difficult. But all you really have to do to use the circle is to fill it with water and insert your cartridge. Each cartridge should get you about six uses. I paid $3.75 per cartridge, so that's about $0.63 cents per use if you get six out of it. The main bottle is 22 ounces. They have a 12 ounce version as well. The cap supposedly works on other types of bottles like this Hydro Flask. So really, if you already have a Hydro Flask, you can buy the cap for five bucks. You don't have to buy the bottle itself. The closest I reviewed this one was the Life Fuels, which went around 2020. It has been discontinued this year. I really like this one too. It had pods that went in the back. This bottle was 99 bucks though and the refills were somewhere around 12, so it's kind of steep. That's probably one reason it went out of business. When I reviewed that one, a lot of people said I should try the Circle, which is, seems to be less expensive. Also, I should point out that none of the sips have any calories and none of them have any sugar. The sweeteners they use are sucralose or stevia, depending on which flavor you have. So let's fill this up and get started. Not only am I gonna taste them, but I'm gonna rank them. And the first sip I'm gonna try is the peach tea. Let's see if I can smell it. Kind of reminds me of the Life Fuels pods I had. We shall see. So you just insert it in there, that's easy enough. And this can close up and be drank out of. Even though I like this chiller sleeve, I'm gonna take it off just so you can see it a little better. I put ice and water in here. So I'm gonna turn the dial to X, which means just water. Start at the bottom and work our way up. This should just taste like water. Mostly water. There's a tiny bit of flavor in there. All right, let's start with number one. Hmm, very mild peach flavor. I could probably drink it like that, but it wouldn't be very satisfying. Let me see number two here. Hmm, that's, um, there was a pretty big jump from number one to number two. Let's see number three. Oh wow, I can't imagine it getting stronger than that. That's, that's about as much as I'd like. But we're at number, we got a long way to go though. I think by number nine, you're just drinking solid concentrate at that point. Mm. That's, that's good, but it's strong. Number five. Kind of get this little sensation in the back of my cheeks. That's pretty strong. Number six. Maybe too strong. Number seven. At this point, it's so strong, I don't know it's much difference between number six and seven. Eight. And 
and it's still j just very strong. Number nine, which is way too much. Mm. Well, there's definitely a difference number nine. Whew. I'm gonna go way down to three. Try that one more time. It's funny, after number nine, number three just tastes like water. But I will say, that's pretty good. It does remind me of the Life Fuels, which I, I don't know which one was out first, but it does remind me of that. But this one seems a lot more adjustable. Life Fuels, you really didn't, you had to adjust it once and that was it. I think we're off to a good start, but we got a long ways to go. The nice thing about this is you can take it out and you can use it later. That was the peach tea. I'm not sure where that one's gonna rank among the others. That's our baseline. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna grab one. Let's try the classic iced coffee. This will be very different than peach tea. I think I'm just gonna go with number three and see how that tastes. One seemed to be too light and anything after five was just overpowering to me for the last one. I really have high hopes for this one because I drink coffee in the morning, but I, if I could have this, it'd be a nice alternative. Oh wow, that's, <laughs> that's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I think I can bump that up though, go to five. Mm, wow, go back down to four. <laughs> I like that you can adjust this strength though. That's genius though, that's a great idea. Wow, that's real, that's pretty good. I think I like the iced coffee better than the, than the peach tea. If I had to rank these two, I'm gonna go coffee, number one, tea, number two. But we have four more left. I gotta try them all at nine, see what happens. All right, number nine is, is, the, is the death flavor. Let's try it out. Wow, okay. I'm gonna say no on the nine. Mixed berry fit sip with replenishing electrolytes. Let's see, uh, let's go to number three on this one. I still have that coffee flavor in my mouth as like a, a pleasant aftertaste from the iced coffee. The only thing I'm not liking about this so far, and I'm, I'm nitpicking, this cap, kind of I have to move it out of the way when I'm drinking. I'm nitpicking, but it's the only negative con I really think of at this point. When I first took a sip out of that, nothing came out, so I had to kind of force it through there. Number three. Mmm, so just a nice, pleasant berry taste. Reminds me of the Propel drink I used to drink back in the day. Here's number five. A much stronger Propel, very condensed. All right, here you go, number nine. Uh, berry concentrate. Whew. I'm not liking nine on any of these. Some people might though. That's the beauty of this product from what I'm seeing is that you can really tailor it. Some people would think that one is not enough, and some people might think it's perfect. As we're halfway through, I think my ranking is the coffee number one, the mixed berry number two, and the peach tea, a very close number three. But we've still got three contenders to go. Let me pull out the pineapple pure sip. I gotta say halfway through, I'm actually quite impressed with this. I, I really didn't think I was gonna be this impressed. I thought some of the people online that were reacting to it or overreacting, I have nothing bad to say about it yet. Pure sip, flavor essence, pineapple. Now keep in mind, I'm only testing six flavors, one from each of their categories. They got a bunch of other flavors as well. These are just the ones that seem to appeal to me. Your mileage may vary. Here we go, pineapple, number three. Hmm, that's interesting. I think this is the unsweetened. The others all have a artificial sweetener. This has no uh, sweeteners at all. So I have to kind of keep that in mind. That was a little bit more mild than, I, than I, the others have been. So let me try number five. Interesting, it's like an unsweetened pineapple. I'm gonna go up to nine. Whoa, that's a strong unsweetened pineapple. This is the weakest of all of them, I guess because it's unsweetened. But for those who don't want to have any artificial sweeteners, it's a good option. Flavor's nice. It, it's not as sweet as the others, so you have to kind of keep that in mind. I also realized that if I don't put them back in the bag, I'm not going to know which is which. They're not, they're not labeled. Luckily, I put them in order, but if you got them mixed up, you'd have to just put them in the bottle and taste it to see which one they are. So I'm going to put them back in their bags so I can know which one, which is which. I'm going to add a little bit more water to this before I continue. We've got two more to go. I'm excited here so far. I've had nothing but good luck. Everything's been good. I'm gonna say this is my ranking after four sips. Coffee, mixed berry, peach tea, pineapple, although none of them are bad at all. Can the Life Sip Fruit Punch break into the top of the pack? Let's see. The Fruit Punch says that it's nutritious vitamins. So this is nutritious fruit punch. Let's go to number three. And that reminds me of Kool-Aid. Isn't that the most popular Kool-Aid flavor anyways? Three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna go to, we're gonna bump to five now. 
Now we're getting even closer to Kool-Aid. When I was a kid, we made Kool-Aid. We would put so much sugar in there. I'm surprised I have any teeth left after drinking all that Kool-Aid. But this is not, doesn't have any sugar in it, so better option. And it's nutritious. Here we go, number nine. Ooh, very strong. Whew, okay, let me see. Let me rank this one here. I think I'm gonna put it reluctantly at the bottom. I think that this just is almost too much like Kool-Aid to me, although it does taste fine. Last one. Black cherry. This is the Go Sip. It says health and energy, black cherry. This one's got caffeine in it. I could use a little bit of that right now. This might be an unfair test because I'm a huge fan of black cherry. So we'll see. Start off with number three. Mm, that's a very pleasant, kind of light black cherry flavor at number three. Let's see if we can unlighten that a little bit. Off to number five. It's a bit strong, but good flavor, but a bit strong. Number nine. Oh, that's pretty strong. Let me go back down. I'm gonna try this with number one, because some of these stronger ones, probably you can go on the low end and still get more uses out of it. No, that tastes, number one tastes like water. That's a tough choice. These are all so good. So let me, final rank here. It's like the black chair, it's so close. I'm gonna try the peach one more time because it's been so long since I had that one. Peach at number three. Oh, that's good, man. That's really good. All right, here is my very subjective ranking of these six sips. The Brew Sip Coffee, number one. The Fit Sip Mixed Berry, number two. The Tea Sip Peach Tea, number three. The Go Sip Black Cherry, number four. The Pure Sip Unsweetened Pineapple, number five. And very respectable last place is the Life Sip Fruit Punch. I didn't dislike any of them. I will, I'm going to drink all of these. I'm surprised it's as good as it is because I've seen so many overreacting TikTokers and YouTubers. You never know if they're just hamming it up for the camera. I don't think they're hamming it up. I think it's actually that good. The only real cons of these cartridges kind of sometimes drip a little bit. I think they address that on how to do that in their frequently asked questions. They're also harshly recyclable. You have to disassemble them to make them recyclable because there's a foil in there that's not recyclable. So it does create some waste. If you can disassemble them and recycle them, that's probably better. There are also hacks online how you can make them reusable. I'll link one or two of those below in the description, but there are people out there that have found a way to refill them with any liquid concentrate. So that might be something to consider as well. Something else I like is you can have your bottle right here. You can buy an extra lid and you can actually have two of them at the same time if you have something like your hydro flask. So in early 2021, I was disappointed when the life fuels went out of business, but I'm pleasantly surprised to find the circle is not only as good, but probably better than that one. I'm gonna keep using this one because I think it's a great product. If you've used the circle, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.